Here we have Guy beginning our advance into the town. And we'll begin our fight to take the church, it looks like. We've got a Prussian battalion that's guarding the left flank of the church. Okay. Hey, now. All right. We've got some buddies. Uh, I believe that's six core cavalry that's getting involved. Charge them. All right, boys. Come on now. Charge them out of there. We've got better troops than these guys. Hello, YouTube fans and friends, and welcome once again. I am your humble and gracious host, humble and gracious as ever, Bank 60s. And this is my ongoing playthrough of Norbsoft Dev's awesome 19th century combat simulation, Scourge of War, Waterloo. In our last video, we led a brigade of French light and line infantry charging, slicing, stabbing, and shooting our way across the River Dial in Belgium as our forces desperately grappled to save l'Empereur on the battlefield at Vavre. Determined Prussian defenders gave our troops bloody hell and canister fire before finally relenting to the overwhelming French onslaught. While it took a little longer than expected, our bloodied brigade had made it across the dial at the Bierge Mill and had opened the road west toward Waterloo. A whole lot of fun. I absolutely recommend you go back and check out episode 8, the most melee-filled fight that I've had up to this point. Of course, it's as good a time as any to remind that if you like this content, give it that thumbs up. Thank you ahead of time. Subscribe to my channel. That helps. I need a new coffee maker. You know, this will help me buy that maybe. Also, hit that bell notification to find out when I drop new vids. Oh, and I could not be more excited about our next scenario, y'all. We're back on the battlefield at Waterloo with the Young Guard. Another 30-minute scenario, we're back up to division-level command, Division de la Jeune Garde, Garde Imperiale, Armée du Nord. The uh, 6.30 p.m. scenario, June 18, 18, 15. We're getting late in the day at Waterloo. The situation. A core of the Prussian army has emerged from the Bois de Paris and driven the 6th Corps back. Recent attacks are pushing the 19th Division troops out of Plancenoit. Drive the Prussians back out of the village of Plancenoit and secure the right flank of the French army. Here the map doesn't do a great job of showing it, but we have the Young Guard arrayed in their assault columns to begin. Guise Brigade, Chartrand under the overall command of Duhem, And we have several batteries of artillery that we'll have at our disposal. You see the road through the village and a large fortress that will be here, which is a giant church at the center of town in Plancenoit. My strategy is going to be fairly simple on this attack. Once again, in this scenario, as Duhame, I'm going to give his two brigades quite a lot of leeway for the AI to take over most of the movement and combat orders. I'll jump in from time to time. But my idea would be to advance on a broad front with both brigades at once toward this fortress and an area in Plensonwall where I suspect that there will be an objective worth a fair amount of points. That's how we'll approach this, and that'll be the idea. I'm guessing this fortress would be the AI's Alamo and that that will be the last final battle that we have to fight in order to win this scenario and to win back Plancenois if we don't take the church or if we're not close to taking the church in my role-playing perspective, we'll end up having to count it as a defeat. For those keeping score at home, the victory conditions according to the game are for 2,000 points in a major victory, 1,500 points for a minor victory, 1,000 points for a draw, and 500 points to achieve only a minor defeat. 
No negative points on this one, folks. That's what I think I'd probably try for outside of my role-playing. Here we are. Courier message. HQ Armée du Nord, La Belle Alliance, 6.30 p.m. June 18, 1815. General Duhaime, you are ordered to attack the village of Plancenois with your division. The fourth battery of the Guard Reserve Artillery is attached to your division. Drive the Prussians out of the village and hold it against further attacks. As always, before we get into action, I love the chance to do a little troop review. And yes, here we have the men of Chartrand's Brigade of the Young Guard, all very spry and experienced young troops. The 1st Regiment Voltigeurs, seasoned troops, so not great. The one thing that is very important about these lighter troops is they are the guys that you like to have be your skirmishers most of the time. And we'll see how the AI treats that going forward. The first tier I lose, seasoned troops, and these men donning the white pants and darker blue overcoat and the bright snappy red of the Imperial Guard. It's just a cool, slick look. This 1st Battalion, 1st Voltgeurs, regular troops, y'all. These guys are probably going to be among the best troops that we have on the field during this action today. Here we have Guy's Brigade, all seasoned troops, young guardsmen, loyal and confident. In many of the videos thus far, perhaps I have neglected the fine men of our artillery. We have here our howitzers, two of them in each battery with six pounders across the rest of the battery array. These will be key in the coming fight. We'll have command of this battery and this battery as well. Artillery will come into play heavily in supporting our advance into this section of town. No doubt about it. That'll be key for Chartrand. I suspect he'll be able to come and flank. Hopefully his right will either be supported by our AI cavalry uh, buddies over here or won't be left hanging too badly for the enemy and they'll be able to come down onto this riverside of the church when all is said and done. I believe Guy's brigade here may have some tough sledding making it through town, but I think they will make progress well enough and this battery right here is going to be brought up quickly into a position to support their advance. I'll bring the battery to a position on this ridge side here, ready to fire down into the town at any enemy troops that might be there defending. Last thing to look at, we've got a hold objective. We need 500 men there which would mean about a battalion inside the church. We'll gain 100 points per minute we hold it. I'd like to try to take that church if I can in the first 15 minutes. But we'll see how our AI pals do. They can go ahead and get themselves started. I'm gonna bring this battery up. Boom, right there like that they'll be uh, in a position to help. Ah, no, fellas, you rolled out too soon. I'm gonna bring these guys up too. They're gonna be a closer support. Artillery, king of the battlefield, man. My hopes are that Chartrand over here will send out 
our two light infantry battalions with skirmishers in front to push this side of the field. And here we have Guy beginning our advance into the town. All right, we got plenty of uh, enemy in here. I think we're gonna have ourselves a melee soon enough. Assault column, close up ranks, close up ranks, boys. All right, drove off skirmishers that were in the town, fine. I think I'm gonna have our third Volt Gears that I have command of come over on this side and push up on the left side of town. All right, we've got Chartrand bringing up his light infantry. We've got our artillery coming up. And we've got the third Tyrolliers forming line, preparing to engage these Prussians in the town. Once I bring the uh, third Volt Gears up, I'm gonna start throwing some skirmishers out against this church here. We got something going on here. I'll give the uh, third Volt Gears their own command for a moment. Here we go, I think we're gonna have a charge. Melee coming, come on boys! Yes, yeah, send them running, there we go. All right, that was easy enough. Fairly bloodless, fairly bloodless. Oh my lord, and we got him to surrender. Okay, okay. That's, as I was saying, we're gonna shake out a few skirmisher units here. A couple few. Ah, looks like we got more Prussians over here. And more over here on the right too, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Quite a few. Got our guns up. That'll be a problem they'll have to deal with. And we'll begin our fight to take the church, it looks like. We've got a Prussian battalion that's guarding the left flank of the church. I think it's time to bring up some guns. But hopefully that can clear out the left side of the church and maybe we can wrap around. Here we have a view of uh, all of it in all of its grandeur. Very cool. Troops moving ahead. The rest of Chartrand's brigade making the rest of its advance, but likely not in need of uh, many reinforcements with those two first battalions up there of light infantry seeming to take care of uh, business along with this artillery support. We are on the church, man. We are on the church. Good job, boys. And off these Prussians go. So, we're gonna bring these guys. We're gonna wrap the church now. Nice. Good, good. And now, we're really just gonna be kind of against the clock. We're making an advance over here. We'll have our guns just chewing up the church. Bring up the guns! Bring up the guns! We'll have these guys come up here. They'll use a road. Thank you, 
very much. Like so. No, we still have one Prussian unit in here. A battalion of Slicius led there. And uh, our skirmishers doing a little deadly work. Here we've got a Prussian battalion. Looks like it's going inside the church. Boy, it'd be a good idea to try to charge them before they can get in there. But, uh, I don't know. Get there quick, boys. Get there quick. I don't like the spot they're in right here, but... Oh, they're gonna go volley fire. See how they do. Oh! They took a volley. Oh, and they decided... Oh, wow. The Prussian volley took our guys out of their volley and ended up uh, shaking them so much that they just went with fire and will instead. Looks like uh, Chartran is making some progress, although we uh, have one of his units falling back on this side of the field. Ah, we have Prussian cavalry over here that is causing problems. I see. Looks like our cavalry isn't really helping much. We got a Prussian cavalry pesky counterattack right here, though. Ooh, that's a problem, potentially. Ouch, 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 ouch. There's our guns right here. Damn it. You guys, over here, now. And they just are continuing to pick our guys off right here. No bueno. These guys still have high morale. They lost 57 men, though. This unit that's running the rear here. Uh, down to 438. Uh, they're still in decent shape. They'll be able to return to the fight, no problem. But here we are. 16 minutes into the fight. We're already surrounding the church. And we're pelting. We got 60 points right now. Here's what I'm worried about. My center. This unit here is really taking it. And that's why these guns are coming. Let's hurry, boys. Let's hurry. Okay. Hey, now. All right. We've got some buddies. Uh, I believe that's six core cavalry that's getting involved in the fight here on the far right. Nice. Ooh, these guys are going to take it out of the teeth. We'll fall back. That light infantry's been involved in fighting for some time now. This church... Not going down easy, man. I think I'm going to take command of this unit. I think we're going to form a salt column. Double quick. We are uh, not in great shape right now in terms of fatigue. I don't like that. Let's see what happens here. Our guys might just retreat once we touch these dudes. No, a little melee. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Morale's going down. Yeah, off we go. Guns are up right here. We're moving forward, and we should be able to wrap around and flank here. We're all the way around the church everywhere else. I need some charges to, uh, oh, look at this. Look at our cavalry coming in. Yeah, we got some Lancers helping us out right here. Yes, yes, yes. Charge him. All right, boys, come on now. Charge them out of there. We've got better troops than these guys. They've been fighting for longer. Our troops are, are they getting the upper hand? 
they're killing more of us. Oh, this is this is a tight melee. If we can win this one, we can surround this other side of the church and wrap all the way around. Holy cow, these Prussians. Oh, this is crazy. This is one of the longest melees that I've ever seen. And off they go. Awesome. Nice job. Now, we've got five minutes, I think, really to just kind of hammer away at this church and see if we can take it, get some troops in there, and hold on to it for a few minutes and just gain ourselves some extra points that way and maybe get ourselves some extra kills as well. I think we may have one unit left here. May run off soon enough. We've got another help intercept message. None but Frenchies in the town now, boys. None but Frenchies in the town now. And it's just unload on the church, man. Let's see if we can't scare out this unit of Prussians right here. Uh, I would be willing to declare this, uh, you know, a victory enough for us here uh, that the Battle of Waterloo continues. The Prussians probably have to come and take Plancenois back one more time from the Young Guard. Uh, but that uh, now here coming up on 7 o'clock in the evening, the fighting on this historic day and on this historic field is ongoing. Vive l'Empereur! And we will move forward here at Waterloo with a defense of Plancenois, I'm sure, as it would be uh, in history. Yeah, defeat, blah, blah, blah. We were above zero like we wanted to be. We were even above 500 like we wanted to be. We didn't have as many casualties. Uh, once again, please, if you like this content, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you like it. Subscribe to my channel. That would be very helpful. And hit that bell notification to find out when I'm dropping my next vid. Until next time, y'all, I'm Bank 60s. Humble and gracious as ever. Thank you once again, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.